This video will walk you through the creation of a sign-up page. Sign-up pages help visitors engage with your website and opt in to receive communication on both mass and one-on-one -on -one levels. The goal is to recruit new supporters to your nation, collect contact information, and learn more about your supporters' interests. Step 1. Create a new sign-up page. From the website section, click on Add New Page. Enter the page name and slug. Select Sign-up Page Type from the list. Click Create Page. Step 2. Sign-up settings. Select what information you want to collect from your signups by checking the boxes available at Sign-up Settings, Basics. You can ask for or require people who sign up to supply an address and a phone number. Every person who signs up is required to provide an email address. Take a moment to think about what information you're planning to collect. For example, you might require a phone number if you need to reach supporters on the day of an event. But adding requirements will reduce how easy it is to complete the form, which could result in a fewer number of people who sign up, so it's best to be precise in what you collect. Next, you'll see a setting that allows people who sign up to tag themselves with one or multiple tags. If you want your supporters to select one tag, your options will appear next to radio buttons. If you want supporters to choose multiple tags, the options will appear next to checkboxes. Please note that this setting is only relevant after you've created tag options for your sign-up page at Sign-up Settings, Radio Buttons. You can also add tags to any person who signs up, assign them to a point person, assign membership, or add signups to a path. These tools will allow you to keep track of your supporters and promote engagement down the line. Note that any tags added here will not be visible on the sign-up page. There are also three settings that can modify what a person sees after they sign up. You can have a person land on another action page by typing the slug of the page into the text box labeled, after signing up, what page should they land on next? Note that if a person has indicated they want to volunteer, they will still be taken to your volunteering page. You can type a message for the person who signed up in the after signing up, show the success message text box. This will appear after your supporter has submitted the form. If you want the person who signed up to create a login, check the box labeled display account activation message after signing up. This will send an email confirmation to the person who signed up, prompting them to create a password so they can sign into your site at any time. This is the most valuable if you have any pages that are password protected. Remember to save your changes by clicking Save Settings at the bottom of the page. Step 3. Create a new tag. Using a sign-up page, a supporter can choose tags to add to their personal profile from your website. This is a great method of self-identification and an opportunity for each supporter to share more about their interests with you. You may add or remove tags at Sign-Up Settings Radio Buttons. Note that if you modify this setting to allow signups to select multiple tags, the name of this section will change to Checkboxes. Create a new tag by entering the description of the tag in the description text box. This description will appear to people on the signup page. We recommend being as detailed as possible when asking a person signing up to make selections. For example, if you are creating a subscription preferences page, weekly polar bear advocacy email is a better description than weekly newsletter because it shows your supporters the subject and frequency of your planned emails. Alternatively, if you are a fan club or a brand, a person can identify what they're a fan of by selecting tags for specific people or products. This will help you target your outreach to individual supporters. Next, click on the tag drop-down menu. Any tag listed under people, tags, is included in the drop-down. A text box will appear where you can type in the name of the pre-existing tag you want to select from the list. Click Add Tag. You can change the order the current tags appear on your page by clicking on an option and dragging it to a new order in the list. Hover over the tag and click Edit to edit the option. Click the arrow to delete. 